welcome back. This is a Pilates series inspired by one of my favorite teachers for a nice tight booty. All right. So, hello, Lily. <laughs> Are you gonna join us today? So we're gonna come down on our side. Now you can come up here and work out oblique, or you can come down on your side and put your hand underneath your head. This is like level one right here. We're gonna take our knees and we're gonna bring them to the front of the mat and then our glutes are kind of at the back of the mat. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Over here. We're gonna take our toe down to our heel and then we're gonna bring the knee down to our opposite knee. So very nice without rotation. Taking it out and down. Find your abdominals here, pull your belly button towards your spine and carve that knee through space. There's four and three and two and last one. And then we're gonna take this like right on top. We're gonna attach the toe to the opposite foot and then we're just open and shut. So you might be able to go a little further. It really depends on your external rotation through that hip socket, how far up you go. There's four and three and two, and then one. And then I want you to take your thigh at a diagonal off of your head, and then you're gonna point forward and then flex back. So then we hit on this hamstring muscle. And work those feet as well. So pushing forward, pushing back, you have four more. And again, making the movement harder than it has to be is kind of how Pilates works. You're thinking of carving that foot through space. So thinking of maybe going through thick mud as you kick forward and thick mud as you kick back. All right, here we go. We're back at the beginning. Toe goes to the foot and then in. And don't forget to breathe, of course. Inhale and exhale. Last one, taking it right on top. We're gonna to open the thigh and close. Here's eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift it up, find that diagonal, extend and pull back. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. And go ahead and bring those knees together, come up. We'll do the other side, we'll stretch off this side. Sitting in that hip, <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully you felt that. I feel it already. I usually do three sets, but apparently I haven't done that in a little while because that kind of hurts. So you're sitting in that hip, kind of stretching it out, and we'll just pop over to the other side. Same thing on the other side. Coming down onto our side, bringing the knees to the front, bringing the hips to the back, opening that thigh and closing. Two sets to go. Maintain that breath. Three, two, trying to keep the tension out of your shoulders and neck. Take it right on top, open and close. Maintaining that concentration. Think of that invisible hand pushing down. It might not mean much. And then as you squeeze together, this invisible hand pulling against. From here, you're gonna take this up at the diagonal, extend it out and pull in. Just enjoying the movement. <laughs> Sometimes the second side is harder because we know what we're in for. And we have two, and last one, we have another side. Here we go, take it right on top, toe to the heel, and rotate. Four, eight, seven, six, three, five, four, three, two, and take it right on top, opening and closing, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, 
and one, and then take this right up at the diagonal, extend and close, we're almost there, here's eight, I'm feeling it so much, <laughs> and here's four more, and four, and three, two, and last one, bring those knees together, come up onto those knees, sit in that hip, find that stretch, Oh, that didn't take long, did it? Have a good day.